Welcome, I'm Rob Woodward from Network Yacht Brokers Barcelona. In this video, Eric Stromberg from Geno describes in detail the Geno 41 Deck Saloon Yacht. Unfortunately, production of the entire deck saloon range, including the 41 yachts featured in the video, ended some years ago. The good news is, there are plenty of used deck saloon yachts available within the used market today. The cockpit of the 41DS is really one of its key features. Much like with the rest of our deck salons, the boat is set up to live in the cockpit. This is where you spend 80% of your time. So here you can see we have a lounging area where we can sit with our back against the coach roof to see out everywhere, to be protected from the wind. Pockets here and, and the spray hood allow you to, to keep your small belongings and books and so forth when you're there. That's a, it's a very nice protected zone. Very long cockpit seats allow you to, to, to fully stretch out, to lay down, to have plenty of people here in the cockpit. Big cockpit table in the middle with fold up leaves that allow you to uh, four to six people around the, the table. And of course at the back end of the cockpit we have our sort of our working or play zone where we have all of the sheets and everything led back aft. So all of the sail handling can be done uh, by people at the helm, leaving the rest of the boat fairly open for lounging and relaxing. Here at the cockpit table, this is an optional cockpit table in teak, which has fold-up leaves, so plenty of room around the table of people. We have cup holders here. We have a bottle holder in the middle. We have a removable lamp here, which is creating a little bit of ambience when you're having dinner in the evening. The lamp can be removed for sailing, stood down below. The other thing that's very well integrated into the cockpit table, and this is more and more appreciated by all navigation, is the use of the uh, GPS screen. Here we're using the new uh, E-Series GPS screen, which is a hybrid touch system, meaning that you have both the uh, touch screen and the controls. And this is a pod that can be pivoted in any direction to be the most viewable from either helm or from the, anybody who might be navigating on board. There's also plenty of storage in the cockpit. We have two big uh, cockpit lockers, one on either side. You can see plenty of room for all of your gear, uh, Code Zero, uh, sheets, uh, lines, uh, fenders, and so forth. So we have an identical one to port. And then aft, we have two special lockers. One is a very deep locker. This deep locker here is great for uh, fenders, gaff, all those uh, types of equipment that are long. That need, need a good spot and of course we have on the transom a special locker that is a wet locker for things like scuba gear, bucket, things like this that can be, remain uh, wet. In terms of sail handling, as I said before, everything is brought back to the helm so we have a twin helm design. You can see here at, at each helm you have a winch coming back with your main sheet comes back to either side, a German sheeting type arrangement. Your jib sheet comes back, of course, to each side. Uh, all of that uh, right to the winch here, which can be electrified. When we do electric winches on the boat, we use the Harkin Rewind technology. So it allows you to use it as a two-speed winch or as a winch to sheet in and sheet out, simple to use. And of course, all of those tailings go into a special compartment here, the short power uh, connection, and also the diesel and water fills are found underneath the seat to the back. So it keeps the, uh, the cockpit very, very clean. Uh, even uh, when uh, you're sailing, you can keep everything uh, right up out of the way. At the front end of the cockpit, we have most of our lines coming back to our port coach roof winch. And this winch here handles all of your halyards and so forth. Now remember that because the halyards on this boat, the standard boat is equipped with a furling main and a furling Genoa. 
that there's not a lot of use of the halyards. You don't have to use them all the time. So everything here can be, can be kept nice and tidy. We put all of that down here underneath. There's a small step here where we have a compartment below the door. And so you can put all your, your halyards and other, and other lines that are down there. We do have an optional roof winch to starboard as well. So if you want to have either spinnaker type gear or the classic mast, uh, we recommend this winch. Otherwise, you can use just the single coach roof winch to deal with your furling sails. And again, that winch on the coach roof to port can be made uh, into an electric winch. Also here in the companionway, we have a very nice feature of a boat of this size, which is to have the pull up and pull down lighting companionway hatch, which means that you don't have to stow the hatch anywhere. It's always there, ready to go. It's got a locking system on it. It can be set at a couple of different heights, so you can set it at an intermediate height for ventilating the cabin and all the way down, which gives you a nice, very easy step into the interior of the boat. Out on the deck of the 41DS, you can see that we've worked on a lot of different points. One is, of course, ergonomics. The other one is to have the space. There's, of course, a, a styling component also to the deck, as well as a lot of different functions that we can integrate in. Things to, uh, to keep in mind are the different types of sail plans that we can use. So we can use the standard sail, which is 106% Genoa, or the self-tacker. Uh, we'll see it on this boat. We have uh, both uh, tracks available. The lines are all led back uh, under the ocean covers and under what we call the eyebrows that are over the, the windows, which means that the deck is very clear and very uncluttered when moving about, and that's a very important safety feature. We have, of course, forward in our forward cabin, our special curve flush hatch. All the hatches on the boat are flush, which means, again, that the boat not only has a very nice, flush, stylish look to the boat, but also a very safe when you move around on deck. You can see our very big foredeck area, which allows very easy access to anchoring systems. We have a big, uh, deep anchor locker with a very powerful windlass. Uh, in there along with double anchor rollers. Uh, the side decks remain very, very wide. You wouldn't imagine that on a boat like this with such interior volume, but here you have very easy passage forward. Another key point are the inboard shrouds because those inboard shrouds mean that you have a rig uh, that is very well supported as well as a very easy access forward as opposed to on many models you see to have the shrouds outboard which then cut uh, the passage forward. So that's a, that's a very key point as you circulate through. It's a place for you to hang on to, as well as an easy uh, passage forward. Through the rest of the, of the deck, you'll see a lot of passive ventilation, as well as active ventilation with opening hatches. And that creates the feeling down below of all of that light and ventilation that we saw earlier. The companionway is, uh, has a very wide stairs, which are curved up on either side for uh, safety. Plenty of handrails coming down. It's done on a fiberglass base, which means that it's something that if you get a little bit of water in here, you don't have to worry about it at all. And engine access is very simple. You have gas lifters that lift up the front of the engine that give you access to the Yanmar 40 horsepower engine. You can see that the uh, water pump here is right on the very front of the engine. Everything is very, very accessible. We also have panels on each side that are removable in the entire back end of the cockpit because we have that single large aft cabin gives you fantastic access to uh, the uh, the back of the uh, the engine as well. The galley space on the 41DS has been really thought out so that you can have a space that is very modular so you can open everything up when you're ready to do some cooking but then it all folds away and keeps it nice and clean and out of the way when you're entertaining other ways on board. We use our innovative galley sink here with the sliding function. We have on the faucet itself a spray hose which is very useful for doing dishes and washing out the sinks. We have a very large fridge compartment, 185 liter, it's a small freezer compartment and some opening and some removable baskets. Plenty of storage uh, cabinets along the, the upper bit of the, of the galley. And we have a very nice spice rack here with some hooks for hanging cooking cloths and dishcloths and so forth inside this compartment here next to the stove. Under the stove, plenty of good storage, pots and pans, and two drawers uh, under the sink, as well as a pull-out rubbish bin that we have here that comes right out of the side of the galley. So something you can really open up when you want to do some cooking, and then the minute you want to, to move on to other activities on board, you can close everything up, clean it off, and you're all set. The main salon on the 41DS is 
primary uh, relaxation zone here inside. One of the things we wanted to bring to the inside of the boat was an incredible amount of light and comfort. So you can see as you're sitting here, uh, you have a very nice view out of, of the hull ports. Uh, when you stand up and when you're really uh, anywhere within the boat, the big deck salon windows flood the, the interior with, with light. So even on a day like today, which is a little bit cloudy, uh, we have a very, very light space inside. The, the main salon area here is a, is a U-shaped uh, saloon where we have an innovative table, which can be done as, as a uh, large dining table. It's on a telescopic, uh, telescopic leg. So it goes up and down electrically, and it can also be folded away into a, small, a smaller size to make entertaining or to be a cocktail table when, when entertaining guests. So just the electric foot here. And you can imagine you can even turn this into a berth by opening up the uh, table in its lower position and adding uh, some cushions. Over on the port side of main salon, we have a meridian sofa here, so a nice seating area, a lounging area, which is great for reading, sitting, even sleeping if you wish. It's a, a nice deep seating area, so uh, really designed for maximum comfort. Uh, we have an optional stool. As you can see, it sits right in underneath the nav station area, so you can complete a much larger lounging or sleeping area. This stool fits very nicely here and will stay while you're navigating. And then, of course, can be removed and be set up as an additional seat around the table uh, for extra guests and gives you access, of course, to sit here at the, at the nav station. The nav station was designed to have a television screen, so you have your navigation equipment sent to the screen. You've got plenty of storage, these uh, leather lined opening compartments here. And we have underneath the very large zone here, which in the standard configuration is set up as a bar cabinet, but can also be a fridge, such as the case, here, or even a uh, wine cooler. At the nav station also, we have all of our uh, primary panels of the electrical and electronic system, and an upper cabinet, which is also done in the white lacquer uh, that we use throughout the boat. Throughout the rest of the, the storage areas here in the main salon and the sofa lounge area, are the push latch opening cabinets. So cabinets that are very easy to open and close, very discreet, along with our stainless steel fiddles throughout. So a lot of very rich materials out the boat. One of the nice things about this main salon space underneath the seats are fantastic, great storage areas, both on the saloon side and on the lounge side, which are unhinged panels uh, underneath the seating. So lots of storage in these spaces. And here at a port, we never add any particular options that take up this space. So the space is always available to you for storage. The forward cabin of the, the Sonasi 41DS is really fairly unique in its category because it has always a, a head compartment. So it is a fully equipped guest cabin. You'll see that the owner's cabin is really very much aft on this boat. So in the forward cabin is given over to guests that you might bring on board, uh, in which case you have a, a very large double berth. We have a, a large hanging locker, very, very high, very deep hanging locker along with the storage cabinet. And of course its own feature is fully featured head compartment uh, with a shower. You can see here for the berth forward, we have individual reading lights that are LED reading lights to either side. We use our sliding system here for the shade, so you can have a completely shaded area. We have our curved hatch, which gives you great visibility outdoors as well as forward. And that hatch has, has integrated shade and integrated screen when you, for opening that up. And one of the very neat details of the forward cabin is a headrest that can be moved into several different positions. which can be moved up for reading very easy to read in bed with uh, this type of system and there's a small pull cord here and you pull the cord and it goes right back down so it's something that's very easy to use and something that will be very much appreciated would you spend some time on the boat to read in bed before before going off to sleep the forward head which is a private head to the forward guest cabin it's got a mirror, it's very nice Korean countertop with a molded sink. Plenty of areas here to set out your, your items. A lot of great storage. So storage in here behind the, next to the mirror. And then big storage compartments along the back side. It's this storage compartment here that's used when you have the additional uh, holding tank, but you, re you retain all of the other storage uh, that's here in the head compartment. And we have a mixer here with an integrated shower 
that you hang up on the wall and you can use this area also as a, as a separate shower or you can share the shower in for the aft cabin. A very nice private space for your guests. The very large aft head is uh, accessible both from the salon and directly from the aft uh, owner's cabin. Uh, this one here has a lot of the same features you see in the forward head, which is a molded uh, sink, uh, Corian details, very nice faucets and uh, mixers. Plenty of storage again here, both under the sink and to either side of the mirror. A good lighting, a little bit of here, of course, of, of the outside window, so a, a ton of natural light. Uh, here in the boat and this shower compartment here is a completely separate shower compartment with a set of doors uh, that completely isolate the sink and toilet when you are taking a shower back here and you can see a very nice detail here of the custom uh, shower uh, fittings along with a little area here for the storage of your shower items so a, a very very nice uh, head compartment wooden uh, details here on the floor teak floor uh, to it along with its individual shower pump so really very nice space uh, for both uh, day head but also for the owner's cabin. A couple other details of the head compartment back here is this, is this fold up counter which allows of course to, to have uh, access to the to the head but when in this down position allows you to have a lot more working surface here in the head compartment and of course we have a very notable amount of uh, headroom here because we are here underneath the Dexalon roof. Uh, so really a very open space back here with uh, plenty of ventilation, plenty of uh, light, and plenty of headroom. Here we are in the aft owner's cabin of the 41DS. And on this boat, as is true throughout our DS line, this is really the owner's cabin and it's one of the key features of the boat. Here we use, by having the cabin at the very aft end of the boat, we use the maximum width of the boat. We carry it very far aft and very far to either side to really give you a, an incredible amount of volume. We have here a, a very large berth, so it's a 1 meter 90 by 1 meter 9 berth, so a very, very big aft to cabin berth that you would not usually expect on a boat of only 12 meters in length, but it's something that we are able to do by using this uh, aft cabin. You can see here we've got plenty of sitting headroom in the aft cabin. We have a very good circulation here between the bed and the engine compartment. We have private access here to the, the main uh, head compartment. In terms of storage, we have great storage lockers here underneath uh, each side of the, of the nightstands. And again, our push latch uh, cabinets all up and down either side, as well as a, a nice storage locker here with shelves, so great for socks and t-shirts and all of those little items, and a very large hanging locker as well. Lots of other little storage areas here above, above the engine, and fiddles on either side, our stainless steel fiddles. This cabin, in terms of light and ventilation, has really got a, a ton of, of light and ventilation. The, the one that you notice really when you walk right in is the opening port on the, on the transom, which can be opened and really pulls air all the way through the boat. We, of course, have our hull ports to either side, which are shut off with our, our sliding uh, shade system. And we do have some opening ports that go out into the cockpit as well. So you're really able to get a lot of good cross ventilation uh, in this space, a lot of light, a lot of uh, a very open feel, and, and really a ton of space uh, for a boat of this size. The extra large cockpit coupled with the supersized deck windows was used to great effect across the entire range of deck saloon yachts. So if you're looking for a modern liveaboard yacht with lots of space in the cockpit for entertaining that's coupled with a well-lit saloon, a used deck saloon should not be ignored. That's it for now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We have lots of used boats for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching.